Hello students, uh, this is Mr. Long here. Um, this is the first video of a series of chemistry practical videos on O-level chemistry practical. Basically, the videos guide you on how to write proper observation and inferences so that you can get the most mark for each um, paper. I will be using um, actual papers from students to illustrate the how, how to write. Let's look at the Science Chemistry Practical 2001. You are given a mixture of two solids. And you're supposed to divide the two the mixture into three equal parts. The first part can be found on A, the second part on page 2, and the third part of the mixture. E is supposed to do the following particles on them. Let's look at the first part. Supposed to heat the mixture X into the hard glass test tube. It's supposed to heat strongly. Now what does that mean? If you look at the FAQ, chemistry FAQ that we have given to you, you should see something like that. So, when you heat a solid W strongly, you have to test for the gas. And this is how you should write for your observation. Please refer to page 6 of the FAQ. You are also supposed to test for gas when you heat something strongly. And I have uh, told everyone in the class that the first gas you should test for is carbon dioxide. Let's look at how a student has written. As you can see, she has followed exactly what was given the template. And this was the answer that she, that she has given. The only tiny mistake she made was that she forgot to observe carefully. And it was supposed to be green and white solid. Uh, the mixture decomposed to a black and white solid. I wouldn't say that it's a grey solid. On cooling down, it changed back to a white solid. No, it didn't because in this experiment, it remained black. So I would cancel it and write it remained black and white. You do not have to write this for white. Right? You just have to continue. If a colorless gas was produced, which form white PBT with lime water. After the solid has cooled down, we are supposed to add dilute HCl or hydrochloric acid into the residue. Now what are you supposed to write? Similarly, you can look for the FAQ when you add an acid to a solid, you should write this statement over here and followed by any bubbles of gas produced if they are in this experiment, there are no bubbles of gas. So here, she did wrong. There should not be any bubbles of gas which forms white PPT with lime water. Let's turn to the next page now. In this second part of the experiment, we're supposed to add acid into the new set of uh, mixture X in, in a test tube. And because we added in acid to a solid, we should follow the way we should write again from the template. So we should write something like that 
in Imga Bagus of Gas. Together with the observation. So we have which is correct. Which is correct. Now we can choose to ignore doing the glowing spin or collector spin because this gas here turn lime water milky or bound forms of white PPT with lime water that shows that it is carbon dioxide gas. So carbon dioxide will not support combustion, so we can write things like that for glowing spin. After you've added in the acids, you're supposed to divide the solution into two parts. The first part is supposed to add sodium hydroxide, and the second part is supposed to add aqueous ammonia. Now, the observations written by this student is not that complete, so I wouldn't mark them as correct. Because you add in sodium hydroxide and uh, aqueous ammonia, you can refer or you can look for the observation, how to write observation from the table behind. You add in sodium hydroxide as well as uh, aqueous ammonia. So you can look for the answers from this table or this table. So if you see something blue PPT or light blue PPT, after adding sodium hydroxide, you should write this statement over here. If you see something white or white PPT form, you should write something as such or as such. So let's turn the, take a look at the answers. So this student only wrote uh, blue PPT form, which is wrong. What you should write is follow exactly as what the observation has done. Something like what this student has done. Equals what? For equals ammonia, you should write something like that. Now, this student has written something like that, which is uh, not necessary. Another student wrote something like that. Now again, there's no mention of blue PPT, but a light blue solution. So we shouldn't write like that, and we shouldn't write like that. So I repeat, if you happen to be adding sodium hydroxide or aqueous ammonia, you should refer to the table behind to write down your answers. In this question, they did ask you for conclusion. So, because of the blue PPT, you can confirm that the presence of copper two ions. So, one should write a proper sentence like that: blue PPT is presence of copper two ions. Let's look at the third part of the experiment. In the third part of the experiment, you're supposed to add DI water or distilled water and filter the mixture. 
followed by adding a silver nitrate. You could write something like that. A suspension was formed with green insoluble particles. The filtrate was colorless. And after you've added in silver nitrate, a white PPT will form. Now, this white PPT, uh, how or why did you wrote that? So, we can look for the actual silver nitrate from behind. And there you have, if you search for it, here you add in sodium hydroxide to see these observations. Here you have aqueous ammonia. Now, can you find the action rate at silver nitrate? Here. Can you see? And if there's a formation of white PPT, it confirms that the solution contains chloride. So we have a white PPT here. And therefore, it confirms the presence of chloride ions. The last part of the experiment is to test whether you know what you have done in E. So if you think carefully, it's exactly what you have done in E. You have a, a mixture containing of two solids, one of them is soluble, the other one is not soluble. Alright, so you add the eye water to the mixture so that the soluble solid will dissolve. You fill the solution to separate the insoluble solid. Now the soluble solid will be dissolved in the filtrate. You evaporate the filtrate so that the soluble solid will be obtained through crystallization. And that wraps up the uh, little exercise of 2001. And you notice carefully they did not ask you to identify. They did not ask you to identify what are the solids present in the mixture.